Hi and welcome to the last day of Inktober Tangles Challenge 2023. Um, I would be lying if I said that I'm sad <laughs> that it is finished. I mean, I love doing this, but I also love to take a break from it. I'm sure you understand. The last tangle is one that I think many of you or all of you know. It's Zentangle Stangle uh, Poke Root. And I will just go ahead and draw some. And maybe some of them will be round. Maybe others will be oval. Uh, they look like very cute berries. Well, I will just ink this in too. I want it to kind of fill in this space, weird space that I was left with. And now I will draw several others and trying to, again, just use the space that I have here, which means that many of them will not be um, seen in their entirety, they will be hidden partially behind whatever is already there. And I might also leave some um, negative space here. But first I'm going to add another like here. And then I will decide as I add one by one what to do. So this one is also a little bit more oval. And I'm not sure if I want another one or not. Let me just add maybe, you know, it's another one and then another one and suddenly the tile is full with tangles. So which is also fine. I'm adding these small roundings here. And I think that some of this, you know, light background that I have here might just stay here and, and be a nice addition to the design. I will start with uh, shading and highlighting these, and then I will decide if I need some more or Maybe not. So I'm always shading where my petal is next to whatever tangles I have. I shade the top and the bottom of my petal, pr probably always. Trying to give it some depth. I will first blend this and then come back maybe to add some more shades. Of course, always adding shades along the tangles that are placed on top. And now that I'm done with that, I might try to give it a more round uh, shape by adding some more shades, like these smiley shaped shades that you would add to orbs. Okay, need some shades right here, right? That's what I forgot about. And of course the highlights. Just to make them look more plump, hopefully. Oh, they they are cool. Um, now I'm thinking about the whole composition and 
if I need to add some more shades, highlights, or whatever might be missing, you know, in my very subjective opinion to this design. trying to make this line appear more like continuing consistent adding some shades again just to enhance the tangles that are placed right next to this background And then again, just taking some time to take a look at it and seeing what else I might add to this. Maybe, I don't know, this space here looks a little bit weird. So I'm going to add one more pulp root right here. I'm thinking about adding some over here, but I'm not sure that I need them. So I'm just going to shade the one that I just added, added. And I think I need to shade on the opposite side of my oasis flower. Again, just making some of these lines a bit darker, more dramatic. And now I think I will leave this. Maybe it looks weird. I could definitely add another ribbon tangle or just extend this one. But I don't feel like that now. So I'm going to add the highlight on the opposite side of these lines and right here where I'm applying it now you see that there is not much contrast because the white is also bright white highlights are also on the opposite side of the black line that's fine so I'm kind of doing the same thing that I did here This is the first layer, and if I want to extend these highlights, I can always come back with another layer. I just want to add the first one and see if I like it the way it is. I'm going to come in with my white jelly roll to add the shiniest white right next to the black line and once that you have used almost any kind of pencil there's you know the powdery, powdery residue here from the white chalk pencil so you might not get this gel pen to flow as easily i'm just going to go in with some kind of rays of light oops i made it look maybe too sketchy maybe i wasn't precise enough try not to run over my black lines so it's just another detail i'm not adding a ribbon single i'm looking forward to having this finished but maybe this very wide wide edge at um, this side on this side 
is too much contrast to the ribbon feeling that I have on the opposite side. So I'm just trying to see where this will take me. I think it looks much more balanced now. It's just my opinion, of course, uh, you might want to add something different on that um, part. And I think I will call it done. Now, you know, I might rotate it a little bit until I decide which is the best position, maybe this, so that I have a more grounding um, part of, of the design on the bottom, like darker, and then airy part on the top. Maybe that would be the way that I would like try to turn it around or I will add the last thing to it. So it's kind of again a contrast to what I did just a few minutes ago. I added this white part outside of this line, borderline, and now I'm adding a little bit of graphite pencil to the edges so that I kind of mute down this empty space <laughs> on the opposite side and of course it's not as visible on this dark background but let's say I place it on a lighter background like this then you can notice this rim that I just added with my pencil um, and here I have more space between the black line and the edge of the tile so I might add a little bit more of this blended pencil and with that I think I will finally call it totally finished. And of course, as always, I would like to thank you for your support and for watching and drawing with me. And I guess I will see you in a year, if not before. I'm not sure if I will ever do the 100 day project um, again. But you never know. I like to challenge myself. So we will see what's up next maybe some uh, tangle bits or something like that here on my youtube page until i um, post something new you can always follow me on instagram facebook uh, where i post the drawings daily almost or every other day thanks for being here with me and stay creative and joyful and healthy yeah. <laughs> Bye.